So I'm officially starting my trek down. Just got off campus and I'm cutting the sixth and it's okay. I can't believe I'm doing this right now. <laughs> okay, so you might be asking me, what am I doing in this car? Here's what's happening. Um I'm driving down to LA to go to Coachella. Okay, this is the literal last minute and most craziest shit like I'm ever doing. So my dad doesn't know, my mom doesn't know, no one knows, my sister knows because we're going. My dad's camping this weekend and I'm going to drive down six hours to Coachella. So it's gonna be about like 400 and something miles. Um, never driven farther than like San Jose, which is like an hour away or hour and a half or something. That's like the farthest I've ever driven by myself. So this is gonna be like a crazy journey and I'm like so ready, I'm so hyped. I can't wait to listen to my music too. But also just very anxious and scared for my dad because he's basically gonna find out. He's gonna find out on Sunday when he comes back home and the car is gone, I'm gone. So let me just trace you back to earlier today. First of all, I left school early. I just cut my sixth period. I just walked off campus and that's the first thing. My dad's gonna see that I cut class, but you know, I cut class a lot, so like, I think it'll be fine, you know? And then I packed some burritos. I have a lovely burrito here. I already ate lunch, which was a burrito, so I'm gonna eat dinner on the drive while I'm driving. So I'm excited for that. And then I packed, I put a letter for my dad and now here we are and it's 4 4 p.m and i think i'm gonna update you guys along the way but i think we need to get started driving because there's honestly traffic so this is about to be my first coachella first time driving alone i'm 17 years old um basically i'm in the bay area right now and i'm going down to riverside right now so let's do this i'm gonna document this whole journey because i think this is an exciting independent thing to do and i'm gonna I'm gonna be turning 18 in a month and it's so funny because I've literally always joked about how one day, I, one day I'm gonna just be so depressed that I'm just gonna drive down to LA. Like I've always joked about it, literally to everyone. <laughs> Bitch, I didn't know this was gonna happen. I did not even plan this. So this is kind of like crazy that it's actually happening. And it's funny because I'm gonna be turning 18 in, in a month and I'm gonna, gonna be going off to college and everything. So it's really crazy that this is all happening. don't condone this this is um this is not something you should do i don't know why i'm doing this honestly um coachella <laughs> convinced myself that you know my life is kind of boring right now so if i get in trouble you know and like i don't know what's gonna happen but it'll spice up my life you know yeah. I can do this and I would like to show you a chance on this road for like fucking miles i just like can't believe i'm in the middle of nowhere right now of california no, it's just it's crazy i'm literally on hollywood boulevard right now guys i'm shook okay i need to go to the grove to pick my sister up right now but driving in la is so scary oh my god and these lights are so bright i'm shook literally what the fuck 
I'm finally eating my burrito. Okay, I'm in LA right now. Yeah. Don't even know what is happening right now because this kind of feels like a dream. Just say goodnight and do What's up guys, it's time for day three. This is the day where everyone finds out, so. <laughs> so basically, my dad just found out, texted him, stopped texting him, and hopefully now we can enjoy the festival, but definitely getting a lot of consequences. And I didn't even think that I would be getting consequences, but both getting consequences. But we'll see what actually happens. Now I'm just really scared and don't want to go back home. That's the one thing. I literally don't. Like, why would I drive home to get yelled at, you know? But, like, I... First gas stop, uh, probably our only gas stop. Let's get food. I gotta fucking use the bathroom and get gas, okay. Leaving the gas station now, and I did get some coffee, so hopefully I can be more awake. And I literally said like, extreme caffeine alert, or something like that. But why don't we talk about Coachella? I was only there for day two and three, because Friday I like drove here, and like we bought tickets on Facebook, so it was just like, I, we only went for Saturday and Sunday. I was mostly, mostly excited to see Billy and Ariana Grande, obviously. Ariana actually brought Justin Bieber out, which was hella crazy because I was like, I have not seen this boy since I was literally 10 years old. And he's like, I was a strong ass believer. I think my favorite sets were actually like, the EDM ones were the most fun I had because it was like a bunch of dancing, you know? And I think those were the ones where I really lived in the moment. But also overall, it was a great time. I literally like saw so many, I loved Bozzy. Bozzy was great, but I liked Bozzy too. That was like the first real set we saw besides Arizona. Khalid was all right. Uh, I think I like Bozzy better. I think it's cause Bozzy, I was literally up close for Bozzy. Overall, Coachella was not <laughs> like, I feel like it's way hyped up, but it was really fun. Like it's super hyped up though, like on Instagram. Yesterday I thought I'd be worried about like, oh my god, my dad's gonna find out. And I thought I'd be like stressed all day. He found out right as we arrived to the parking lot. So like I got the, like I finished texting him 
after we went on the shuttle bus and I was like okay I like just didn't want to think about it at the festival and it was fine I didn't think about it at all at the festival which is really nice I don't know what's gonna happen when I go back but honestly if I'm like stuck at home it'll be fine because I need to study for AP exams so maybe being like not being able to use a car or whatever will allow me to there's literally a fly in here <laughs> it will allow me to like um you know focus on school or whatever but i'm sure i'm gonna be hella depressed because i don't get to go out it's fine would i say this trip was worth it okay we'll see what the punishments are but so far i'm like it was an experience you know like driving down like driving back like this is a nice drive honestly usually i hate these drives because i've done this la to sf drive so many times but driving it myself is pretty relaxing because like i guess to like just enjoy the scenery listen to music We started and very nervous because I just don't want to go in. I literally don't want to go in at all. I don't want to get yelled at, but you know what? We're going to keep a straight face. It's going to be fine and I'm just going to shower quickly and unpack and try to avoid and maybe take a nap because I'm tired. So yeah. What's up guys? So I believe it's been about two weeks now since that since I went to Coachella and basically I just kind of wanted to end this video because I didn't really end the video and wanted to give you guys a few updates you know two weeks went by and basically I haven't driven the car in about two weeks I actually first drove the car yesterday since Coachella which has been absolutely terrible because I've been stuck at home and being stuck in your room is not fun so so yeah, but you know, it was fine because I mostly just studied because I have AP exams like literally today I finally finished my 25 page study guide for AP government I've been doing a lot of calculus and statistics and gov and more but um, yeah, I've been stuck at home, so it's been kind of kind of good for me I guess since I'm like I have to study anyways but the other thing was that I couldn't go on my trip for the summer, which I was supposed to go on a big trip to parts of Asia. And basically, that's no longer happening because of this. So that's really, really sad. But you know what? I'm going to try to make something happen this summer. I don't really regret anything, but the fact that I can't go to Bali is making me feel like it wasn't worth it i don't know in the moment it was like what i wanted to do and like it was fun it was definitely something like that whole drive was really good for my soul <laughs> i don't know i don't know it's just a really good experience but yeah coachella was fun this vlog is fun it's definitely a vlog i really enjoyed watching because or editing because that whole weekend literally felt like a dream like yeah the fact that like i have that all documented i'm happy that i made this vlog and i decided i would upload it and share it with you guys even though i kind of didn't want to share it with the world but whatever um and yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up and like this video i'm about to graduate in 34 days or something like that so i'm so excited because i can't wait to get out of high school and i'm about to be 18 really soon too so i'm really excited so can't wait for the future honestly i'm literally so excited but yeah i'll see you guys in my next video